I'd want to welcome to question on entropy cycles. Our first question here is asking us to define standard entropy change of combustion and include the standard conditions that are used for three marks. So we're going to get two marks for that definition and one mark for the conditions. Now, if we know our definitions, it makes it quite straightforward. If not, you need to go over and get those definitions committed to memory because a fair chunk of marks comes from your definitions. So for combustion, we need to mention about how it's reacting with oxygen. So one mole of a substance reacts completely with oxygen. Or again, we have some slight alternatives with that. Reacts fully, combusts in excess, whatever it might be. We need one mole of substance, reacts with oxygen, and then we need our conditions, which are 298 Kelvin, or you can have 25 degrees Celsius, and then 100, 100 kPa, 101 kPa. Again, you get some slight variations with that. So two marks from that definition and then one mark from your standard conditions. Okay, and then this last part of the question, we're given a bunch of information, we're given combustion values, and we're going to use that to then calculate the enthalpy change of formation of non-AIM. We're given the equation there. Now, it hasn't asked us to actually draw a enthalpy cycle on this. Now, if you want to draw your enthalpy cycle, by all means do so. That's absolutely fine to do. But either way, if you do that or you don't, sometimes it asks you to draw an enthalpy cycle. If you do, then make sure you draw that out. It hasn't asked on this case, so I'm not going to do that this time. But provided that you get the right answer, in this case, it doesn't matter which way around you didn't, you've done it. So looking at carbon, I've got minus 394 and I've got nine lots of carbon based on my equation. So I can work that out. There's my value for carbon. For hydrogen, I've got a value of minus 286 and I've got 10 lots of it. So I can times them two together. Then I've got my uh, non-AIM, which is minus 6,125. So I've got a total for my reactants i've got my value for my products no calculation required for my product because there's only one lot of it so therefore if i take my reactants and i minus them away from my products so my minus minus will be a plus i'll get minus 281. now sometimes now doing it this way is a valid way to do it unless like i mentioned before it asks you to explicitly to draw an enthalpy cycle if you have to do that you need to draw your cycle but you then should still get to this final answer here. This is a maybe a slightly shortened version to use, which can help some people. Some people like it, some people don't. If you want to always draw a cycle and then know which way around you're going with it and working it out that way, absolutely fine. But if this way is something that works for you, then you can do that, provided it hasn't said to draw an enthalpy cycle. But either which way you do it, if you do it correctly, you should get minus 281, and that will give you your two marks there. Okay, so that will do us for today on questions on enthalpy cycles. See you next time.